add-ons, add-ons, add-ons. Nowadays, there are so many Blender add-ons available on the internet, it's hard to decide which ones you actually want. Some are free, and some cost upwards of $200, but you'll never know how much you like it until you've tried it for a month or two. That's why, in this video, I'll be going over my 6 favorite add-ons and resources for Blender. I'll make sure to leave a link down in the description where you can download or check out each add-on and resource. Additionally, I'll provide a free alternative for each paid add-on that I listed here. So let's get started. Number 1. Easy Effects This fantastic Blender add-on makes post-processing a breeze. Easy Effects packs the power behind Blender's compositing notes into an easy to understand and easily accessible sidebar in the UV image editor. Here, you can tweak settings of your render and improve your renders tenfold. Some pros of this add-on is that it makes compositing a lot quicker and easier than it would traditionally be. Additionally, it's always available in your render window, and it's built for beginners. There are some drawbacks though. It is limited to an extent, and there are a few missing features that I would love to see but aren't present. Additionally, it will never have the same complexity that the node editor has. Number 2. Real Camera Are you a photography fanatic? Wish you could use real life camera settings in your Blender project? Well, now you can. Real Camera allows you to adjust Blender's camera settings as if they were your trusty DSLR. Aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. It can all be tweaked to your liking. Even better, it automatically adjusts the physical settings of the render, such as motion blur and depth of field. I absolutely love this add-on because outside of my CG stuff, I am a huge photographer, and being able to view these 3D projects with real life camera settings is really great and it helps me a lot to process the images mentally. So some pros about this, it's great for photographers like myself, and it's very easy to use. It's all available in the camera tab. One of the cons though is that it does kind of take away from some of the artistic effects you could add to a render in other circumstances, such as a very purposely shallow, physically inaccurate depth of field, or very high motion blur. Number 3. Sheep at Render Farm Sheep at Render Farm isn't necessarily an add-on, but it is a fantastic resource. Rendering is a pain, and rendering farms are expensive, except for this one. Sheep at Render Farm is a free distributed render farm for Blender that allows anyone to render their projects for free by using credits. Credits are earned from rendering others' projects when your computer isn't active. So some pros about this, it allows you to quickly render just about any project you want with ease, significantly faster than if you just rendered it on your own computer. And there's also a fantastic community surrounding it. There are so many great people that revolve around Sheepit, and they're all wonderful people. The one con I could find with this is that there are occasional issues with the website and software because of hosting issues and the way it was built, but really it can be easily fixed and overlooked most of the time, so I wouldn't even really count it as a drawback. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of these paid add-ons. These add-ons are add-ons that I use on a very regular basis, so let's go ahead and hop right in. Number 1, AE to Blend. 3D camera tracking is a pain. Even in the most up-to-date versions of Blender, it's hard to get a solid track with ease. Wouldn't it be great if you could import a 3D track from the After Effects 3D camera tracker instead? That's exactly what AE to Blend does. It makes 3D camera tracking a breeze because you can copy over your 3D camera track data from After Effects into Blender. So some pros, 3D tracks are easier to execute and look significantly better. And also, data can be directly copied and pasted from After Effects to Blender with ease. You legit just have to click Ctrl C and Ctrl V. It's that easy. Some cons of it though, sometimes the track won't copy properly or at all and you'll have to troubleshoot a little bit, but most of the time it will copy over just fine. Additionally, you do have to use two softwares instead of one, one of which is a paid software so it may be inaccessible to some. Number 2. Pro Lighting Skies Using HDRI environment lighting is a great way to promote photorealism in just about every 3D engine out there. ProLighting Skies offers a plethora of high quality, easy to access, and easy to modify HDRI skies for Blender. Even better, they're all packed into one neat add-on. So some of the pros here is that it offers a very wide selection of HDRI skies to your project. Rotation, sun strength, and sky strength can all be edited from within the add-on. It's really neat and it's really useful. One of the cons though is that it is very expensive. The light pack, which is the pack with the least amount of HDRIs in it, still costs $100, and the ultimate pack costs $200. Additionally, some of the HDRIs are somewhat lacking in quality. Fortunately, you won't really notice it too much, but it is there, and it is something that could impact your render. 
And finally, number 3, Prism. Prism isn't an add-on, but it's a fantastic glass shader that allows you to render artistic refractions, light dispersion, and artificial caustics with ease. The results you can pull out of this shader are nothing but impressive. I'd recommend this to absolutely anyone that can get their hands on it. Some pros, glass materials look 1000 times better, always, and it's easy to use and understand. The one con that it has is that it does stretch out render times because it has to calculate dispersions and fake caustics, but it really is worth the extra render time. So there you have it. Those are my 6 favorite add-ons as of 2017. Again, if you guys would like to download or check out any of these add-ons, there will be a link down in the description, and for all the paid add-ons, there will be a free alternative listed. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Adios!